Eric Mwade. So the video link I sent you earlier on here was talking about drawing your RSI lines through uniformity areas sometimes not all the time but sometimes it makes sense just want to show you one example here it's a live chart for natural gas ung and what we have here is depending on how you want to look at it you can either draw the top side resistance line like this which connects the high here or and this high here so clearly you can see that at some point maybe if the stock can clear that resistance by moving above that line that it could be back in play and one can play this for a move higher so that's one way you can draw the RSI line what I am getting at is very simple that sometimes you want to draw your RSI trend line through a uni the top side of a uniformity action so in this particular example take a look at what happened so we went from drawing the line like that and this line gives us connection to two points, point one, point two. What I am suggesting is we better off sometimes adjust this by connecting and drawing the line through uniformity action on the RSI. So let's draw it this way as an example. Now you can see that it connects to the high here, the high there, connects to that high nicely connects to that high and connects to this high so we know that at some point in the future should the market move the RSI above that blue line the stock would be in play and as you can tell that gives you an earlier buy point as compared to the previous line which we, we had drawn this way right so you see that the breakout above this blue line would be more ideal because it would give you a breakout entry into the stock before it moves above the turquoise line so why can we do that what is the logic the logic is actually very simple because of uniform action so let me draw that line again you will notice that the uniform action tends to be a trap let's consider that uniform action above the blue line and back below it take a look at this action here wasn't this a trap yes so we can draw lines through uniformity highs because more than likely what the market was trying to do at this phase of its trading was shake people out so all this action here is a little bit of a fake action probably shouldn't even be there and this RSI line seems to confirm that okay also you only want to draw this line if it is backed up by data and here we can see that it is confirming data because it connects to the highs there okay and so the market pretended that it was breaking out it was pretending that it was breaking out but that move was was a fake so let's get that out of there and now we can extend that line and it makes more sense because it connects to more highs on the line of the daily RSI line so whenever you are faced with a, an opportunity of drawing your RSI through a uniformity line do so especially if it makes sense and if it connects to more lines and more highs or lows on your chart so that's what I was talking about so just be aware that there are times when instead of drawing a line connecting the highs instead of drawing a line like that which doesn't connect to as many tops sometimes you might be forced to draw your lines through and that's the keyword through a uniformity area like this instant here because we can even see that that move was fake so we can negate that high and draw our lines through that and you'll be surprised this little adjustment sometimes can actually help you understand what a market is doing once you clear off some of the fake periods in a chart eric mother mother.com i hope that makes sense good luck peace and blessings e a c s Mwah.